We've all heard about pay-for-play politics, where money is exchanged for services or the ability to engage in certain activities. A new report examines how the spending of one private industry may be buying influence at the Maryland General Assembly. Common Cause Maryland has researched how bail bond companies are donating large amounts of money to the heads of the state's judicial committees. Historically, Common Cause Maryland focused its research on lobbying expenditures, such as who pays for meals and who's hiring lobbyists. Now, last fall, the organization decided to take a look at which industries are actually financing campaigns. Common Cause stumbled across data that shows that Maryland is a significant recipient of the bail bond industry. Committee chairs do receive the vast bulk of the donations, and it speaks to the power that a committee chairman or chairwoman has here in Annapolis. According to the group, Senator Bobby Zirkin received more than $78,000 from the industry in 2014, 11% of his total contributions. Delegate Joseph Alario received $45,500 during the same time period, 13% of his total. Both men head their respective judicial committees. Donations to Maryland lawmakers from the bail bond industry have dramatically increased since 2011 for a total of just under $300,000. The influence that's created here, especially with chairs, is the ability to determine if a bill ever even comes up for a vote. And the fact that industry does target the chairs of our committees shows that they know they're the, the power holders in the scenario. We've also seen the donations ramping up as the issue of reforming the cash bail system has become a much hotter issue here in Annapolis. More voices weighing in, more of a drive to reform the system. The donations have gone up fairly significantly. They have a business and they are really safeguarding their bottom line. The American Civil Liberties Union has been trying to reform the bail bond system for years. Attorneys argue that those who are public safety risk should never be released and those who can't afford bail but are not a risk shouldn't be held in prison. If we were to pass reforms that reduced the reliance on commercial bond in Maryland, that's less business to go around for the bond industry. And so it, it makes perfect sense that the industry, which thrives on people being incarcerated because they've not been able to afford bond, would object to any reforms. Common Cause says this year's legislation has a lot of momentum behind it. And there is a chance for them to say, I take the money and it doesn't impact my vote. And so we're definitely going to be watching how they reform or how they address the reform question. Senator Michael Huff was also listed in the report. The leading Republican on the Senate Judicial Proceedings Committee has received $19,000 from the bail bond industry, 4% of his total fundraising.